Hello everyone, my name is Davitri and for this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about sex education. And most of you guys might be wondering, why do I want to talk about this? So here's the thing. Months ago, I heard that my second cousin, who is at the same age as me, was pregnant. And that news totally shocked me out because she hasn't been married. And I thought that she's just a regular college student like me. And I thought that she will never done anything like that. So, and in fact, that she was not aware and she's not ready to face the consequences of what she has done. And this case made me realize that this sort of situation can happen because of the lack of sex education in Indonesia, especially in our society. And ironically, the majority of people in Indonesia still think that sex education is a taboo thing to share and not so appropriate thing to talk in public, especially in school. But in fact, in reality, every year in Indonesia, there are around 500 of students at the age of 15 to 19 are pregnant uh, before marriage. And from my opinion, this situation can happen mostly because of the globalization, meaning that uh, they can consume and they can see the Western culture of having sex at the young age, but on the other hand, they're not educated by with the consequences and responsibility uh, of what they're doing. I'm not saying that you cannot having sex with someone that you love before marriage. I'm just saying that if you want to do some kind of things, you have to know the consequences and the responsibilities that you you might be facing in the future. And by having sex outside marriage, you not only you can get pregnant, but you can also can get an STD. Uh, what is what is STD? Basically, STD is known as sexually transmitted disease, meaning that this illness can cause by sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse meaning that you can get affected by having sex with people who have done sex with lots of people and also you can get affected uh, by having sex with someone who has a genital disease like hernia or something and so what can we do to prevent those consequences first you can use a protection in this case you can use a contraceptive tools like pills condoms iud etc and you can discuss this with your doctor and ask him or her of what kind of contraception that's suitable for you and for your body condition. And second, in order to prevent you to get an STD, I can say that you have to be faithful to your partner and stick with one partner if you want to do sex. And lastly, if you're not ready to face the consequences, but you don't want to do the two things that I have said before, I suggest you to not do sex uh, and do that when you are ready to face the consequences. So, yeah. So, in conclusion, you have to be wise in making decisions and you have to know what 
are the consequences and responsibilities besides the pleasure of the things that you want to do in the future. Okay. And so that's all about my speech. And thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.